cool kids. What's up, cool kids? So, uh, I, I'm uh, coming here today not knowing what to do. Um, I got a box with my name on it. One box, well, two boxes. One box has stuff I ordered. But the bigger box has a bunch of biggity BS that I didn't order. But it has my name on it. And I, I just don't know how to proceed. It's, it's a giant box full of deck boxes for magic cards and such. Uh, really oddball stuff. Oh, here. Here's an example. D6 dice. All the D6 dice. There's probably three or four of these things of dice. But then there's the stuff I ordered. But then there's stuff like this. I don't even know what this is. Key. Key Forge. Oh, this thing. There's this thing. So this is a deck box. So anyway, I have my order, and then I got an extra box uh, full of stuff like this. Um, that, I don't know. It says, disappointed question mark. Well, that seems like an interesting way to advertise. <laughs> Are you disappointed? I'm going to plant that idea in your head by making it the first word you read when you open the package. Yeah, that makes sense. Who knew? Who knew that was an effective advertising strategy? Well, anyway, um, while I was fidgeting around with the stuff, I accidentally uh, busted this package open. And so, oh, man, uh, the stuff I actually ordered is in a whole different box. But I did grab the paints out of there. Got some paints. Um, ooh, got these little standy miniature things. These are like four bucks a pack, so I'm not sure if these are uh, in uh, in league with the uh, Ark Knight stuff or if they're totally separate and just have oh they have different holders. Okay, so I guess uh, WizKids is getting into the game, the Ark Knight game, but uh, the standees. I don't know. Um, I can see why they dropped down to four bucks. There's not much to them. They look like quality standees, though, for what they are. Yeah. But uh, I got some. Uh, I got a uh, resource management board game um, that you know it had pretty high rating for eight bucks. So I got that. I got some miniatures to pay. I only sent in AG Stacker 1776. He's going to be getting his miniature soon. I'm, I'm finally starting to get a little time off work to where I have time or even want to paint miniatures because I'll be honest with you guys, you know, uh, when you're working like crazy, you don't... I, I don't know about you guys, but I lose... You know, when I'm not getting sleep, I don't want to <laughs> paint anything, you know? Um, <clears throat> oh! The other thing I got, a bunch of uh, Summoner Wars. Well, the problem is I already have every single Summoner Wars card ever made. Um, it's a pretty fun game, though, if you guys ever get a chance to play it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff in here. I haven't really gone through it because I didn't order it. So, I mean, there's got to be like 30 of these boxes in there. Um, there's miniatures. A uh, bunch of little packs of miniatures like this in there. So. 
not not so much that. It's mostly deck boxes and dice and such. Um, I don't know, man, but I'm gonna open this since I accidentally busted it open. Well, what I was trying to do was figure out uh, where's the large miniature? Where's the beef? All right, here we go. So. Because the box don't weigh nothing. There's no weight to it. The old school miniature packs, they they had some weight to them. A little bit. All right. I will say, though, they've upped their painting game on these minis. WizKids has. Let's check it out. What we got here? This is number 20 and 50. Will. Will the Thrill. He's a super peasant. With a fro. All right. Well, that's that's cool. It's got spunk. It looks like a teenager or maybe a gnome. Yeah. Not sure what Will is. But all these minis are small. Oh, here's a goblin. Yep. I mean, that's not bad for a pre-painted mini. I'm guessing this is a common. Let's check. Yeah. So this is a Feywild Goblin. A gob Gobby Gobbo. And finally, our last mini. And this is... Cradleyall. Cradleyall. And Cradleyall looks like a baby dragon. <laughs> or a pseudo dragon. But not really the color. I don't know. It looks more like a, a baby green dragon, would be my guess. Like a hatchling green dragon. Is it supposed to be three minis per pack? No, it says four. We're missing one. No, oh, it's still in. Oh, they're all tiny. Okay. Four minis and they're all tiny. I don't get it. Oh, okay. This is odd. This is a Bullywug Royal. <laughs> this is the Frog Prince. Oh, my dear boy. Please, please be most mindful of the lily pad today. We mustn't interrupt the flow, if you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. I have lots more stuff to open. Uh, thanks, Manager Market. Uh... I'll wait until we hear from them before I open any more stuff because this is very bizarre. This box is huge that they've sent me and it's full of these card holders. And I, I almost feel like it's too small for a magic deck with flips. We could test that theory. But I... I I feel like, that, I mean, I know this is for Keyforge, whatever that is. Um, but uh, I wonder if I can find a use for it. Ooh, we can test it real quick. I got magic card sitting right there. Hold on. Is it on now? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, these aren't a bad deal. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, not a bad deal at all. At uh, 6 50 a pack. Uh, you get four minis. <laughs> um, but this box is, is useless. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, this is the green deck from the Game Nights pack. And yeah, it, it don't fit. But, uh, you know, we're off quite a bit here. Right? That's not going to work. That's, yeah, not, not going to hold anything but uh you know we tried take care